Hello YouTube, this is Nick Stan, back again. So, right where we left off. Just finished. There's me. Beautiful me. I'm a tough, pretty boy. It doesn't make sense though. Boing. Whoa. So yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of his stuff. I'm gonna sell it. Oh, those of you who are like, don't don't steal from Doc Mitchell. If you don't steal from Doc Mitchell, you're probably gonna die. Because he gives you lots of good stuff. You he, he, he can sell it. I mean, you just take everything and just sell it. If you had enough repair stuff, you can get a free 9mm submachine gun. I mean, come on. Whoa. I made stim packs. Oh, yeah. See, Doug Mitchell's house is useful. In Fallout 3, the pre war books were pretty good. You wanted pre war books, you could sell them at this one library place, I think it was. And get 100 chats for them, but they're worthless. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when he was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find the next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum ship. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it the Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. Then put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor. Ooh, that, um, Victor. Grid. Victor's awesome. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. You got it, man. Hardcore mode. Ah! I don't want to put hardcore mode on, but it's... It seems kind of fun, but... No. I'm not gonna do hardcore. See, I look, guys. I just love this. I just love this game. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, you're walking around in a post-nuclear apoc post-nuclear apocalyptic town. Oh, hey, Victor. There you go. Victor, talk to me, man. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they had run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, old Jim. Fifteen years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Goodbye. Happy trails!
Oh yeah, straight razor. Excuse me. Uh, oh, so is this way? What? I'm confused. You know what I gotta do for this? I gotta get some mods for Fallout New Vegas. I seriously do. Because, oh. Well, actually, I don't think there are any good ones other than cheats on Mario, but. I just want. I want, like, a mod that gives more weapons in the game. Not like Fallout 3 weapons, just like. Like Fallout 1 weapons. Like AI Chess Breach did in his Deserter Fortress thing. Those, I want stay. that mod, but I don't think it's for the don't Xbox 360. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Ooh, she likes me. Well, this is the end of the video, too, guys. Bye-bye.